Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation. We haven't done these types of equations for a while, so I thought this might be a good idea. So let's get started. We have three to the power log of x plus one over x plus two with base two, and that is equal to four. Now notice that three and four are not related, right? I mean, obviously four is not a power of three, but we can still do something about it. So in log equations, a lot of times, you can log both sides, if, especially if you have an exponent. So in this case, what base you're gonna use, right? That That's kind of like a you know matter of taste, I guess. In this case, I'm gonna be using base three. Okay, cool, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to be logging both sides with base three, and that's gonna give me something that looks like this. Okay. So the left-hand side kind of looks a little confusing, but don't worry, we're gonna simplify it in a little bit. Now, this expression here is basically a power of three, and by power rule, I can just go ahead and move it. But when I move that as a multiplier by log three base three, it just becomes one times that, so I end up getting something like this, log of x plus one over x plus two with base two is equal to another log, but this is a different base. Now, if we had bases that are the same or they were similar like two and four, four and eight, so on and so forth, then it will be a little easier, but that's okay, we can still do it. Now, what am I gonna do? I'm going to use the definition of logs here. What is that? Well, if you have log of x with base b, which is equal to a, this just means that x can be written as b to the power a. So it's kind of like a different way to write an exponential equation. Great. So now we have this, which is going to be on the left-hand side by itself, x plus 1 over x plus 2, and then 2 is going to be my base on the other side, and this is just going to be my exponent. So that's basically how you use the definition of logarithms. Cool. Well, I said cool for the second time. Some people, I think, don't like it, but sometimes I can't help it. So I'll try to say different things like awesome, great, beautiful, sweet, whatever. Anyways, so we have to solve for x. Remember that, right? How do you solve for x? Well, the left-hand side is a rational equation, so I can try to isolate x there. But to make stuff a little easier, I'd like to use substitution here because it simplifies the process a little bit, in my opinion. So let me go ahead and you call this expression u, okay? Now, what am I getting from here? At the end, I'm gonna back substitute. So let's go ahead and just focus on this one and this one. So what happens if x plus one over x plus two is equal to u? Then our goal here is to solve for x, so let's go ahead and do it. So you can start by cross multiplying that should look like x plus 1 is equal to x u plus 2 u. Happy birthday to you. If today is your birthday, then it's your song. Now, since I'm trying to solve for x, let me go ahead and subtract x u from x and subtract 1 from 2 u. Now, let's take out x, 1 minus u, and then 2 u minus 1. And then obviously our goal is to solve for x, so let's go ahead and do it. Now, I was able to uh, solve x, solve for x in terms of u. This is actually equivalent to finding the inverse of this function. So th if this is a rational function, I found its inverse. That's what it means, right? Now, what's significant though, why did I do this? Because if I didn't, then I would have to write log two, you know, log whatever every time, and I didn't want to do it. So now what I can do is I can back substitute, and u is equal to this, right? So I can just go ahead and replace u with that. Let's go ahead and do it. Two times, and what is u? Two to the power of that. So it's going to look like two to the power log four base three minus one over one minus two to the power log four base three. Okay. Now this can be simplified a little bit. Let's go ahead and do it. Consider that as uh, this is 2 to the power 1, and when you multiply each powers, you add the exponents. And when you add the exponents, you get something like this. x equals 2 to the power 1 plus log 4 base 3 minus 1 over the denominator. Denominator is not really going to change much because we have 2 to the power something. I can't really do much about it. But here, notice that we have a 1, but 1 can always be written as log 3 base 3, right? So let's go ahead and do that. If we do it, then I do have two logs with the same base. And you, as you know, the, here the base doesn't matter because they're the same. So if you have something like log A plus log B, I can always write it as log AB. So basically the sum of the two logs turn into the log of a product, which is a super important rule simplifying 
in simplifying logarithmic expressions. So I can just write x as then 2 to the power log 3, 3 plus log 3, 4 minus 1 over 1 minus 2 to the power log 3. Some of you, you know, some people may find this unnecessary, but I like to simplify things. That's why, so bear with me. Now here we can use that rule and write the x as log of 12 with base 3 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 2 times or 2 to the power rather log 4 with base 3. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then be safe, take care and bye bye.